a lot of people are looking at Austin Watkins as the guy from the undrafted uh, ranks as a dude who's going to make the team. I don't think any undrafted free agents made the team last year, like as rookies, did they? Mm. I don't think they did. This is a good team, a veteran team. It's not exactly the same exact team that Kendrick Bourne made as a rookie, although I don't think he made it at, at a training camp either. Um, do you think Austin Watkins will make this team out of, out of camp? Why? I mean, I, you have to see what he does in camp and sure. all of that. But Austin Watkins right now feels like Juwan Jennings last year. Yeah. People were convinced that, like, oh, they got Juwan Jennings. It's over. And Juwan Jennings, you, uh, you've you described, struggled throughout training camp. He struggled to separate. He, he struggled had, like, to a get good open. day, maybe two good days. But basically, he struggled to get open. Yeah, so – yeah, he was never really that guy. I think Austin Watkins is similar. I mean, we've we I, they had the guy from Baylor. They paid a ton of money in 2017. Cannon, I want to say he should Katie have been Cannon. picked. And Katie, Katie Cannon. Cannon, yeah, he was what? Well, he was cut one practice into training camp. Oh yeah, I don't know what yeah. happened. Yeah, and people thought he would make the team for sure. Yeah. I feel like there's just one late round undrafted free agent guy that we as a fandom just attach ourselves to every single year, and that guy shows something. And then he just doesn't even make the team. He doesn't even think he's that good. But well, I think Austin Watkins, he seems like a really nice guy. I like his story a lot. He seems like a really solid player. I think the odds of him actually making this team are not that high. Well, people, Niner fans like him because he's gotten the Kendrick Bourne 2.0 label. I think people think they signed him to replace Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne was an undrafted free agent. He's an ex-Kendrick Bourne. And he runs about the same four five five. Right. They're both contested catch guys. Played in the Senior Bowl, did a pretty good job in the one on ones. Looks like a good route runner, and he was praised for that in his NFL draft profile. But the difference between these guys, tell him, Bish. It's quickness. Kendrick Thank you. Bourne's a little quicker than him. Yeah, look at Kendrick. Kendrick Bourne tested agile. really well. I think yeah. he had like six seven in the three cone and seven four two in the in the twenty yard shuttle. Those are very very those I are elite times. I also think like he didn't he obviously wasn't bad in senior bowl if you go look at the one on ones and stuff but I thought Kendrick Bourne just in terms of like I thought he was like obviously I'm comparing 3 years into his NFL career Kendrick Bourne to a guy who's what 22 years old and just going into the NFL so it's not a right. fair comparison but I thought he just separated better and also the other thing is that um they're I guess they're similar in terms of their body type and everything I I don't know if they're the exact exact same so I mean we'll see uh, it's the one tough thing to about this guy is without watching him in camp at all true. or anything. So I'll just be waiting for your takes on him. And then the one thing I can tell just watching him at senior bowl is he's in great shape and he's really strong. Mm -hmm. He can, he can win at the catch point. So he's not going to get the kind of separation that Kendrick Bourne got, but he's like, he's not, I'm not going to, he, he reminded me of Anquan Bolden. He's not Anquan Bolden. Anquan Bolden was an all time great player who was the rookie of the year. I think he had a hundred catches as a rookie. That's not Austin mm -hmm. Watkins. I'm just saying he's, He's muscled up. He wins uh, at the. He doesn't. He doesn't win with separation. He wins with um, like a power forward. He's he's banging in the paint. So that's what you have to look forward to.